Hi, Gemini. It's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a speed read for your sign today. Yes, this is a Valentine's Day love speed read. This is not going to be like my regular readings. It's not going to be long or in-depth in any way whatsoever. This is going to be short, to the point, and um, on the surface, okay? All right. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Okay, you enter into this reading with conflict. Hold up. Let me back up. Let's address those signs on the table first. Sorry, got ahead of myself there. As far as the minor arcana, we have everybody. We have air energy, earth energy, water energy, and fire energy. As far as the major arcana go, we have Pisces with the High Priestess. We have Cancer with the Chariot. We have Libra with Justice. We have um, um, Air Energy with the Magician. We have Aquarius with the Star. We have Taurus with the Hierophant. We have, um, some people call it Aries with the Fool. And then we have Cancer um, again with the Chariot. Okay, so you start into this reading with the Five of Wands. There's conflict, there's conflict, there's conflict in regards to your relationship with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. No matter what sign your partner is or your love interest is, no matter that Gemini is an air sign, it doesn't matter. The passion, okay? The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You guys are having a passionate um, conflict in your relationship, potentially maybe even a little bit of an argument, okay? The chariot comes in and says that you want to move forward. You want to take the action necessary to move forward out of this, this little piece of conflict in your relationship right here. High Priestess comes in and says that you're going to sit down with your subconscious mind and you're just going to work everything out because you know that this relationship is meaningful to you with the four of wands this relationship you want you want harmony back in your life in your home in your relationship right because with this conflict and the king and queen of wands being very passionate people um there's just conflict going on right now and you want peace and harmony back in the foundation of your relationship like i said with the chariot you are willing to do whatever you need to do to move forward out of this situation and there's the six of swords you are going to transition out of this this passionate conflict that you're having with somebody right now seven of cups comes in and says that you have choices and options these choices and options gemini are about whether or not you're going to keep fighting or you're just going to let it go and move on right? That's your choices and options. Well, the choice that you make is to transition out of this conflict in your relationship. Justice comes in and says, truth, law, fairness have been applied to this situation. You guys have reached some kind of an agreement, some kind of a truce, some kind of fairness in whatever this, this squabble is over here, right? Page of Wands comes in and says that your sense of excitement and enthusiasm for the relationship has returned. The Magician comes in and says that you have used your resources to manifest a conclusion to this conflict that um, has um, surrounded you for, for a minute now, right? For a minute. You have manifested a conclusion to the conflict in your relationship. Seven of Wands comes in and reiterates that. You're putting your guard down. You're putting your stick down. You're putting, you're letting your guard down and you're going to get back to comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life and in your relationship. The Star card comes in and says that you, you have manifested hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your relationship. Four of Swords comes in and says you can rest now. You can just rest, recuperate. It's over. It's done with. You guys are moving on. What are you moving on to? Well, the Four of Wands, of course. Twice, might I point out. The Four of Wands. You guys are moving into a celebratory, harmonious stage of your relationship. 
Four of Cups, I'm sorry, I didn't address the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups says that you have contemplated, reevaluated, and come to terms. Whatever, whatever this conflict was right here, it's short-lived and you've come to terms with it, right? Five of Pentacles says that you're letting go of your insecurities. Commitment comes in. You're letting go of your insecurities in regards to any kind of commitment issues or any kind of feelings of, of instability in a committed relationship. You're letting that insecurity go and you're coming to the point, um, coming back to um, giving and receiving and sharing in your lives together. The chariot says that you are going to move forward. You're going to take action. You have, you have the determination, the control, and the willpower to take whatever action is necessary to move yourself out of conflict in regards to commitment with your partner right there. The Fool card says, new beginning and a new journey is on the horizon. No worries that um, you're going to resolve this, this passionate conflict that you have with one another and you are going to move into calmer waters surrounding commitment. There you go, Gemini. If you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and share it with anybody that you think it may help. Happy Valentine's Day and Namaste, my friends.